with y'all what's going on yeah today got a pretty special video now nah, i'm just winging it today but i just want to talk about the five habits routines or whatever you want to call it that changed my life but before we jump into that check out my breakfast right here it's like 1 p.m but i just got home from my clients and stuff so it's 1 p.m and i'm making my breakfast and i've been getting a lot of slander that's right slander about my breakfast my oatmeal eggs and sugar-free jelly but check this out it's some protein pancakes eggs chicken breasts and i made me a little fruit smoothie i didn't prepare it all but check it out it's my fruit smoothie this pancake eggs all that now is that a step up for me y'all uh, be honest but i just wanted to throw that out there before i begin the video so here with your boy darren aka mr habit let's get this show on the road so yeah, let me know if I redeem myself. You know, my, my protein pancake. I, that's also in rotation, so I just don't eat the oatmeal. I told you, like four out of the, the seven days. So I hope I redeem myself. Put it in the comments. Let me know if I'm doing better because that's what life is about, doing better. But let's move on, y'all. So the habits that changed my life. The first one, pretty obvious, pretty freaking generic. That's exercise, y'all. <laughs> Now, I've been exercising consistently for, whew, it's probably like 13, 14 years now. So exercise is just a big part of my life. You know, before, when I first started, it was all about weight loss. It was all about building muscle. It was all about, you know, just looking aesthetically pleasing. <clears throat> but now, it has transformed into something else. Now I care about health. I care about feeling good. I care about stress relief and things like that. Just my mental health mostly and things like that. So exercise will always be there for me. But let me give y'all a quick origin story. Hopefully I won't make it too boring because I'm just sitting here, but started working out in high school. I wasn't consistent, working out with my friends, ended up getting hurt. I said, you know what, fuck this. I need to learn how to do shit better. Learn how to do shit better. Became a personal trainer. Now I'm here and I'm still training. I'm still doing my thing. So. More of the story is, I love exercising. The next thing that changed my life is meal prepping. Now that's And I'm sorry, I'm gonna put some stupid B-roll in this, in this whole footage. Like, I really be trolling in my videos. If you know me, you know me. I be trolling like hell in my own videos. I'm a nice guy though, but I just be having fun. And you gotta have fun with this YouTube thing, so. You may see some B-rolls that make absolutely no sense. I may put some cats fighting. Fuck it. It doesn't mean that every Sunday I'm cooking a bunch of food anymore or I'm packing up lunches in container. This goes more along the lines of pretty much I know what I'm gonna eat every single day. Unless you know there's some days like the weekend where you just kind of wing it, but the majority of the time I know exactly what I'm gonna eat. Like my oatmeal, eggs, and chicken breast. That's something that I enjoy eating every day. You know, it's not hyper palatable, but it's something that I enjoy. So it's like moderately palatable. So something I can eat all the time that I won't overeat. Now I used to do meal prep like like a fucking psycho. Like I used to have all my containers stacked up in the fridge and things like that. But I have been doing this for years to the point where I know that I'm gonna eat it. Like I have developed that habit and that routine. That's why I always tell people, build these habits and do them over and over and over again. So that way it just becomes automatic. So that's what I know. I know I'll wake up, get my oatmeal eggs. I know I'm gonna have some type of chicken breast rice. And I know dinner, it might be ground turkey, ground beef, some type of fish. It may be something along the lines of that with some sort of potato. And that's something that I enjoy eating. It's not something that, you know, I'm miserable like, oh, this is so over restrictive. It's not like that because I don't believe in over restriction, but it's something that's affordable and it works for me. The next habit that I have adopted in my life that has been working tremendously, no bulk snacks in the house. I'm not saying that I don't ever do it, but the majority of the time, nine times out of 10, if I go to the supermarket, I try not to buy bulk snacks. What I actually do is, I get my ass up, go walk to the corner store or the supermarket or wherever, and I go buy it. Nine times out of 10, I decide that I don't want it because I don't want to get up and walk to the store or get in the car and go actually go to the store for a single item, like a six Oreos or something, you know what I'm saying? So I 
that's that's just a staple in my in my life like I don't buy no bulk stacks no more and I just try to keep you know the the, the good foods in the house I'm um, not saying you know those foods are bad or anything but you know they are just very highly palatable if I know that I got cookies on top of the microwave I'm gonna eat those goddamn cookies on top of the microwave you feel me this next one is something that uh, it's fairly new that I adopted and that's 30 minutes of movement daily. In New York City, I didn't have to worry about this. I was on the train, I was running to clients, I was uh, moving around on the weekend, trying to just, you know, enjoy myself. So I was very active in New York City. Like I probably, I, 10,000 steps was a minimum. <laughs> like I, I destroyed that. Like I was getting like 20,000 steps a day when I was in New York City and my movement was on point. But now that I'm in Florida, I'm more sedentary, I drive everywhere, I gotta move some more. So I make it my mission to get at least 30 minutes of movement a day. Now for me, I usually get a lot of movement in with my clients, walking around with them, helping them. One of my clients I actually joined in their workout, he's a kid, so I join in and I get my movement that way. But to be honest, what I usually do, walk around my complex twice, that's 30 minutes. And some other things I do, I play a little basketball. I'm gonna do a little B-roll. You know, I'm gonna do B-rolls because I'm just sitting here and you know, YouTube, YouTubers, they don't like you just sitting here talking. So I'm gonna do a B-roll of me dunking on an NBA player because this is actual footage and this actually happened. Or me, you know, swimming. I like to go swimming too for 30 minutes of movement. So here's another B-roll clip of me swimming in the Olympics. I was in the Olympics. This was about, uh, I want to say 2011 to 2000 and yeah those are some of the things that I like to do to get my 30 minutes of movement in. And the last habit I adopted and this is in no order but to-do list. I live by my to-do list and it just keeps me on point. I have a little uh, acronym that I say it's like Pope. I'm, I don't remember this. I'm gonna try to remember it. So the first one I know is like prioritize. The second one is like organize. E is execution. I forget what the, the second P is. I'm really gonna see, I'm not editing this. I'm, I'm gonna try to think of this. Prioritize. Um, I gotta look. Purpose, yeah, so that's my Pope acronym. Prioritize, organize, uh, damn, I just fucking said it too. Um, purpose and execution, Pope, there we go. So that's what I live by, so every day I have a little to-do list. Some days I kinda just know what I have to do, but for the majority of it, if I have something that's very important, I put it on the to-do list and I make sure that I get it done, just check it off and it's easy for me. I just go on my notes, on my iPhone, write it in, check it off. But that's pretty much the five habits that have changed my life. Let me know what habits change your life, y'all. Cause habits, they build societies. I'm not really like a, a morning routine person, to be honest. I, I have my own theories on things. I just be living life. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have morning routines back in the day. Like I used to get up 3.30 in the morning, pray. I mean, I pray every morning, but pray. Um, just try to not to use my cell phone when I first wake up. You know, little things that I used to administer in my day, but nowadays I don't do none of that shit. I wake up, I just try to get whatever I need done, done. And maybe in the future I jump back into that. Maybe I try some meditation. Maybe I do whatever. But to be honest, I think a lot of people just be taking stuff a little too far <laughs> for my liking. You know, life is short. Like that's why with the whole meal thing, like I don't do like the, the entire meal prep anymore. You know, life is short. I get the foods that I enjoy into my diet because you got to make this sustainable. Like I said. Health and fitness is no finish line to it, so you might as well try to make it as enjoyable as possible. And I know we all have goals. We all have goals, y'all. But I just believe that since it's a long journey, 
why not make it sustainable and making something that you actually enjoy because nine times out of ten if you don't make it sustainable then you're gonna hate every fucking minute of it and that's no way to live life exercise doesn't equal stress it's like an oxymoron but i'm gonna stop blabbing that was my little rant right there Yo, but don't forget to check out my last video. I was talking about gratitude and shit. Hey, make sure you check out my last video. Peace.